Welcome to episode 47 from Best Book Bits. Today I'll be sharing Tom Butler Bowden 50 Success Classics, Winning Wisdom for Work and Life. This book was published in 2004 and weighing in at 228 pages. Mapping the Road to Prosperity, Motivation, Leadership and Life Success. 50 Success Classics summarize each work's key idea to make clear how these timeless insights and techniques can inform inspire and illuminate a path to authentic achievement this is my take on the best book bits i found worth capturing if you like what you hear i strongly suggest you buy the book using the link in the description so without further ado i bring you 50 success classics we desire success almost as much as we need to breathe from the moment we are born we want to do more get more be more while we may have a mental picture of success as striving hard toward perfection in truth, it is more natural. Success can be described as the courage to let out the potent dreams and potentialities already in us, simply to give them air. Success is not an event or a result in isolation, but an expression of the nest that is within you. Winning is overcoming obstacles to reach a goal, but the value in winning is only as great as the value of the goal achieved. Characteristics of successful people. Optimism. Optimism is power. Tough-minded optimism. A definite aim, purpose, or vision. The world does not demand that you be a lawyer, minister, doctor, farmer, scientist, or merchant. It does not dictate what you shall do, but it does require that you master in whatever you undertake. Willingness to work. Nothing succeeds like success. Success is built by minutes. When trusted to do so, the non-rational mind solves problems and creates solutions. Success leaves clues. Curiosity and the capacity to learn are vital for achievement. Thus to saying, leaders are readers. Most so can tan his mind consistently in the vats of literature. The greater the risk, the greater the potential success. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Be action oriented. Realizing the power of expectation. Successful people expect the best and they generally get it because expectation have a way of attracting to you their material equivalent. Whatever you do, you'll be more successful if you do it with honesty, fairness, and the best of your ability. Make your own luck. Luck happens to those who greatly increase the chance of its occurrence. A taste for reading and studying. During my leisure hours, I improve myself by study and acquire a large part of the knowledge which I now possess. Indeed, it was one of my books that first put me on track of the invention, which afterwards I made. So you see, my lad, that my studious habits paid me in money, as well in other way. We should strive for success, not just to get fortune, but to get tenacity, discipline, frugality and optimism, qualities that cannot be bought. Leaders have no interest in proving themselves, but by abating interest in expressing themselves. True leadership arises in the full expression of a person's unique potential. True leaders are not interested in proving themselves. They want all, above all, to be able to express themselves fully. Real learning is the process of remembering what is important to you, and becoming a leader is therefore the act of becoming more and more your true self. Leadership is an engagement with life itself because it demands that your unique vision be accomplished and that usually involves a whole life. Continuous learning and never dying curiosity. A couple in vision. Leaders first define their reality, what they believe is possible. Then they set about managing their dream. Being a one-off, an original. Leaders learn from others, but they are not made by others. Highlight the link between self-knowledge and business success. Leadership is a choice and involves leading ourselves first. Competition is the result of everyone striving to win at the same thing, whereas personal visions are unique. Every successful person knows how to sell what they offer. Enthusiasm and organization are the basic elements in selling. Speaking publicly gets you out of your shell. The act can create the feeling. Practice of regular smiling creates a feeling of happiness and goodwill. Selling is the easiest job in the world if you work it hard, 
but the hardest job in the world if you try to work it easy. The best salespeople do not sell. They find out what the other person wants. Then they help them find the best way to get it. When trying to sell something, talk mostly in terms of you and their interest. Forget witty conversations. Be a good listener instead. Invest in increasing your knowledge of your own industry. You can't afford not to. For 30 days, smile frequently and watch it transform your life. Clarity about your goals saves a huge amount of energy that can be deployed productively in other areas. Take a minute, look at your goals, look at your performance, see if your behavior matches your goals. Work for your own success, but ensure your achievements lift up the wider community. He found that necessity was a good motivator. Belief, it is the same element or factor. Belief which causes people to be cured by mental healing, enables others to climb the ladder of success, and gets phenomenal results for all those who accept it. Undoubtedly, we become what we envision. Every great thing starts with a thought and is powered into realization by a belief. That belief itself has amazing powers. They leave their desires vague so they get vague outcomes. Belief creates its verification in fact that virtually anything can be yours and you can be anything if you're able to develop a knowing about it that you don't ever have to need to question. Your belief about yourself and your place in the world is arguably the main determinant of success. The subconscious continually works to express our deepest beliefs and desires. Because the subconscious operates in terms of imagery, it is vital that you feed it mental pictures of what we desire. Somehow the subconscious is connected to all other parts of the mind, and through the law of radiation and attraction, it can attract events and people to us that will assist in making our dreams reality. However, it will only find ways to make the image real if that image is clear and convincing. Hence the importance of the mental pictures of success we feed it. The force of belief cannot really work in our favor until the belief becomes initially part of us, settled in our subconscious mind as a fact. We do not achieve deeply felt goals by action alone, but are helped along depending on the quality and intensity of our belief that they will be achieved. Repetition is another way to implant a suggestion into the minds. The law of the mind is the law of belief itself. By this, he meant that belief, more than anything else, is what makes us tick. It is the great shape of who we are. Draw on the power of believing to achieve great things. When you've learned how to draw on your subconscious powers, there's really no limit to what you can accomplish. Be vicarious in your learning and ensure that others benefit from your intellectual and monetary wealth. Leaders are readers and that wealth is created from deeper knowledge and better thinking. Invest in yourself. Success comes from the openness and treating people well. Be a master of your mood. A sunny deposition is worth more than a fortune. Young people should know that it can be cultivated, that the mind, like the body, can be moved from the shade into sunshine. Just speaking. Talk to people, not at them. Be yourself. Don't try to be an orator. In order to be yourself, you have to spend time working out who you are and what you stand for. Speaking comes from the heart, which is always true. Seek knowledge and value, not money alone. Knowledge gained from reading and study represented real value. A good life was one that truly opened the mind. Money alone was worthless. Travel to broaden your mind. That seeing new places gives people a greater appreciation of the whole. Adapting and adopting a form of non-constructive ruthlessness will gain the freedom necessary to achieve effective execution of your life's task. Reclaim the killer instinct as a natural part of who you are. Self-doubt creates a perception of incompetence. What you believe about yourself, the world will believe about you. Contrary to common understanding, a good man's actions are not always gentle, but they may be ruthless, cold and dispassionate. Acknowledge that all human beings are the combination of darkness and light. The principle of wealth building are free to all but only a minority use them to their advantage. A part of all you earn must be yours to keep. 
putting aside at least 10% of your earnings and marking that off as not for expenditure. Over time, this amount builds and starts earning money for you any work. Money comes to those who save. Number two, money multiplies for those who invest it. Number three, money stays with the person who entrusted to wise people. Number four, money is lost when invested in things with which you are not familiar. And last, number five, money is lost as at a fast rate by pursuing get-rich-quick schemes. Without wisdom, gold is quickly lost by those who have it. But with wisdom, gold can be secured by those who have it not. This mind which can do all things. If you have a single, powerful purpose, you will have the courage to act on your ideas. To be one of the doers and thinkers, you have to stretch yourself. The majority of failures in life are simply victims of mental defeats. There is always a way open for the determined soul. Just as a highly magnetized piece of metal can lift another piece ten times its size, so a highly magnetized person, charged with confidence and purpose, can do at least 10 times more than another who is not t- so energized. Great souls gave wills. Feeble ones have only wishes. You can be the master. Your fate is still an inspiring one. Don't be satisfied with being merely good or excellent. Discover what it takes to be great. Facts are better than dreams. Whenever your desire is properly close at hand, if you're willing to open your eyes and your mind. It is the open-mindedness to little things that brings human success. The minds think in simple terms and the greatest people are always straightforward. You can't succeed if you have no interest in people and their needs. You must make yourself necessary to the world. What all great people have in common is that they make themselves a medium for good. They make the best products and provide them to the largest number. This, not taking money at a till, is a service. There's no need to look beyond yourself and your immediate circumstances to find the seed of your fortune. Service is the key to success. Don't just sell things. Find out what people really want. This requires a greater than normal thought and observation. The first step on the road to success is good character. The second is openness to new perspectives. The third is ensuring that our daily action is shaped by higher aims, with the knowledge that you always reap what you sow. The sky is the limit to create and achieve. Integrity means having a changeless core inside. A person of character or integrity stays true to their values, desiring to be a better listener, to love unconditionally, and to seek to understand. Understand that time is precious and that success is simply being yourself but in an organized way. Is willing to do the things that others cannot be bothered to do in order to achieve a higher aim. Create the unity necessary to run an effective business or family or marriage requires great personal strength and courage. No amount of technical administrative skill in laboring for the masses can make up for the lack of nobility or personal character developing relationships it is at the very essential one-on-one level that we live the primary laws of love and life personal growth is often the result of not doing something new but the seeding of the same things in a new light smaller changed in our lives can be affected through the alternatives in attitude and behavior the larger issues can only be addressed by a transformation of the self To think in a totally different way, we must become a totally different person, which does not happen easily. Basic unit of change is habit, because what we do or think about all the time makes us who we are and becomes the lens through which we see things. Your action is your destiny. A person who could not change the very fabric of thought would not be capable of changing reality. Only those continually willing to see things from new perspectives can have regular access to the truth. Life is what happens to you while you're making other plans. That purpose shapes your destiny. Believe is what you are doing. If you've got an idea that's really powerful, you've just got to ignore the people who tell you it won't work and hire people who embrace your vision. 
The simplest, most uncomplicated way is often the most successful. Honouring your competitive edge, no matter what industry you're in or what your role is. How thinking differently and then having the courage of our convictions is an essential law of success. Think unconventionally. Despise the status quo. Set big goals that may just be doable. Love change. Focus on your possibilities, not your competitors. We begin to realize that it's important to figure out what you're not going to do as it is to know what you are going to do. The simpler you can make life for people, the more valuable you will be to them. Goodwill is one of the few really important assets of life. A determined man can win almost anything that he goes after, but unless in his getting he gains goodwill, he will not have profited much. Continually refine your thinking power. Imagine something the world would really need. Make it cheaply as possible and sell it at the lowest price. Ford discovered that he could make more profits from selling greater numbers of products at a lower price than selling fewer at a higher price. If you manage to sell a high quality product cheaply via low cost methods, you'll be meeting a demand which is so large that it may be called universal. Businesses were not cash cows. They should offer something that made lives better. And if they achieve this, good returns will naturally follow. Two traits often seen in a super successful person. An original, a far reaching vision that carries with it the potential to change the world and an obsessive attention to detail that can drive people mad. You are saving when you prevent yourself from becoming more productive. You are really taking away from your ultimate capital. You are taking away the value of one's, of nature's investments. Refining your ability to think it should be your investment priority. It is always provided the best returns. Beware of little expenses. A small leak will sink a great ship, and moreover, Fools make feast and wise men eat them. Diligence and frugality build character as they create wealth. God helps them that help themselves. Douse those love life, then do not squander time, for that's the stuff life is made of. The secret of a better life is the personal development to be gained from working hard. It is not so much what we gained financially, but the self-worth and self-discovery that come from pushing yourself in slothfulness, you learn nothing. Early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. A fat kitchen makes a lean wheel. Those who cannot appreciate time have the most money problems. Those with money are more free and independent than their neighbors. The way to wealth lies first eliminating debt, which lightens the spirit and makes you more confident and therefore more productive. Don't be uncharitable to those who really need it. Because one thing worse than being a prisoner of debt is being a prisoner of your own conscious. Your body is smarter than you think. Trust it to achieve the goals you have set. There is a much easier route to performance, which involves letting the intelligence of the body and unconscious mind express what it knows. Man is a thinking reed, but his great works are done when he's not calculating and thinking. Paradoxically, Success comes when you temporarily withhold judgments of success or failure, but notice what is. Winning is overcoming obstacles to reach a goal, but the value in winning is only as great as the value of the goal reached. To be truly rich, regardless of his fortune or lack of it, a man must live by his own values. If those values are not personally meaningful, then no amount of money gained can hide the emptiness of life without them. Live by your own values. Be your own person. Wealth was only ever generated by open minds, because only such intellectual openness enables us to see opportunities that others do not. Various scientific studies have proven that if you learn how to deal with other people, you have gone about 85% of the way down the road to success in any business, occupation, or profession, and about 99% of the way down the road to personal happiness. Human relations are the science of dealing with people in such a way that our egos and their egos remain intact, and this is the only method of getting along with people that ever bring any real success or any real satisfaction. Everyone hungers for appreciation and acceptance. 
if you can genuinely provide these, you will have the key to human influence. If you stop and think for a minute, the chances that you will say that the people you know are who are the most successful and enjoy life the most are those who have a way with other people. Men and women who have the most influence with other people are men and women who believe other people are important. Tell a man that his ideas are stupid and he will defend them with all the more. Use threats or scare tactics and he simply closes his mind against your ideas, regardless of how good they may be. Make distinctions. Look for subtlety and nuances. Success requires fine observation of human nature and refinement of the self. A person of substance, if you are one, you will take no pleasure in those who aren't. Unhappy is the eminence that isn't found on a substance. Only the truth can give you a true reputation, and only substance is profitable. One act of deceit calls for many others, and soon the whole ghastly construction which is founded in the air comes tumbling down. Fortune gives larger rewards to those who wait. Be excessive in your perfection, but moderate about showing it. The brighter the torch, the more it consumes itself and the less it lasts. To win true self-esteem, make yourself scarce. Thoughtful people are safer. Do something well and that is quick enough. What is done immediately is undone just as fast. But what must last an eternity takes the longer to do. Only perfection is notices and only success endures. So with metals, the most precious of them take the longest to be refined and weighs most. Without self-mastery, you can never master others. The essence of power is self-knowledge and a major part of this emotional intelligence. At all times, seek to be a civilized person, avoiding the vulgarity of uncontrolled passion. Know your best quality, your outstanding gift, the conviction that to reach perfection, one must adopt, adapt to circumstances. Recognize and use your background in the service of attaining your goals, and remember to give something back. That which does not kill us makes us stronger. We live in a world of overabundance and everything the heart could desire, with nothing standing between us and our desires, except in lack of a definite purpose. Wealth comes from increasing your power to think and developing your ability to access the universe's intelligence. What the mind of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. No more effort is required to aim high in life than to accept an existence of misery and lack. Learn how to serve before you can achieve. That the source of wealth is non-material, is yet to be fully appreciated. You are born to be a champion, and no matter what obstacles and difficulties lie in your way, they are not one-tenth so great as the ones you have already have been overcome at the moment of your conception. Willingness to see the benefit in every disappointment may seem like a cliche, but it is the mark of the successful person. People. You can put either a positive or negative spin on any event in life. Explanatory style to describe the different people different between people according to the meaning they give to events. Optimist, he found, performed better statistically. Positive mental attitude. To be positive is to always embrace life and success, happiness and wealth are attracted to those who are full of life. Negative attitudes only repel these blessings. When our attitude towards ourselves is big and our attitude towards others is generous and merciful, we attract big and generous portions of success. That you really could become a better person or a more successful person simply by choosing to remain positive. Optimism is power. Winners almost always do what they think is the most productive thing possible at every given moment. Losers never do. When you look at what winners and losers actually do moment by moment, the difference between these two divisions of human race really is that small. But the results of those small differences keep adding to each other at every given moment until they reach a critical size. The most valuable thing you could ever own is your image of yourself as a winner in the game of life, as a contributor to the betterment of humankind, as an achiever of worthy goals. Unless you have the image of yourself, nothing worth having will stay with you for long. 
create a normal aim for life, and then make use of every moment to achieve it. Winners almost do what they think is the most productive thing possible at every given moment. Losers never do. Winners know the value of every moment. Most of the successful men I've met are absolutely ruthless with their time. Just as, to use a financial analogy, a sum of money that has its interest reinvested over time seems to grow amazingly. The magic of compound interest. So in life, the cumulative effect of daily work is tied to a clear goal seems to produce wonderful results. I must do the most productive thing possible at every given moment. Everyone lives according to instructions. These fall into three categories. Number one, those provided by wiring your brain, instinct. Two, those forced into during your childhood, do's and don'ts. Number three, those you have created for yourself, self instructions. Flipping our switch from lose to win. It is up to you to create instructions for every area of your life and to carry them around with you everywhere. They represent a new successful you. You must continually create new goals if you are to be happy. Create a larger aim beyond the current specific goals you are seeking to achieve. It is much better to be a person marked out for great things. Those larger aims are pulling you along to those accomplishments, gathering goodwill as you go. The added benefit of this larger view is that it helps you put small obstacles and inconveniences of daily life into perspective. In larger understanding of success to include self-knowledge and generate connection to others, you have everything in you that you need to succeed. The mature human being will feel the need at some point to shake off their script like a skin and write their own story. Winners set goals for themselves in order to be able to live in the present. Losers are repeaters, repeating not only their own mistakes, but often those of their families and culture as well. Winner, winning people look, listen and learn, and are able to summon the courage to change when necessary. Success may continually be thought of as the ability to manipulate other people and events. Circumstances, what are circumstances? I make circumstances. He realized that the fastest way to change is to laugh at your own folly. The ability not only to accept change, but to create it is the mark of a dynamic individual. If you do not change, you become extinct. You should not take yourself this seriously. Be willing to laugh at your own predicament. You can have a liberating effect, even in the worst situations. You can marvel and even amuse at how weak your attachment had made you. What would you do if you weren't afraid? The power to creatively visualize. Change is the basic fact of existence. For life not to be wasted, it demands a level of risk and goes quickly. For life not to be wasted, it demands a level of risk and adventure. If you're willing to live this way, change loses its horror. In fact, the advancing purpose purposely creates a change because the world is not currently how they would like it. Breaking through your fears makes you free. Rule one, you must know the difference between an asset and a liability, and buy assets. If you want to be rich, this is all you need to know. Learn how money could work for you, unlearn the expectation you must work for money. Thanks to your fear, for the rest of your life you are likely to be dependent on a wage and an employer. If you look for money and security, that's all you'll get. You might get money, but, you, but not find the source of money. Most of us become what we study. The key to controlling money is controlling your emotions. Self-knowledge is vital to your financial future. That prosperity is intertwined with personal growth is one of the secrets of wealth in the 21st century. Opportunities come from new ideas. Money spent on self-improvement is always a wise investment. If we learn anything from the history of economic development, it is that the culture makes all the difference. Yet culture, in the essence of inner values and attitudes that guides a population, frightens scholars. Genuine success is never an accident. The prosperous have a culture of progress that combines curiosity and persistent application. Students of success, if they are serious about uncovering its secrets and patterns, must be prepared for fieldwork in unusual places. The world has never been a level playing field. 
closed mindedness equals economic failure. The X factor is therefore a culture of progress that combines curiosity, innovation, and application. That is nearly always a simple failure of application. It is success or failure of individuals. Culture is character. Honesty, perseverance, diligence, vision, self-education, living by results. Natural attributes are always an advantage, but no one is ever born successful, just as nations are not born rich. Above all, leaders seek results. Many have wishes, but effective leaders act. That the best information was found at first hand helped build trust in him as a leader. Lincoln had a penetrating comprehension of human nature, which allowed him to take the broad and compassionate view. Lincoln never underestimated the power of a pleasing personality and was ready to a compliment on encourage. He rarely lost his temper. Lincoln's reputation for honesty made people trust him and increased his ability to lead. Top leaders are expected to do the right thing. I shall do nothing in malice. What I deal with is too vast for malice dealings. With malice towards none, with charity towards all. Let us strive on to finish the work we are in, to bind up the nation's wounds. Lincoln's lesson is that every investment we make in increasing our communication skills pays off. Lincoln was a master for overcoming the setbacks and defeats because he was supported by the belief that he had the right on his side. Though always ready to admit when he was wrong, he was massively confident about the stance he had taken, and with this certainty of purpose came decisiveness. Lift others into their better selves. Energy, not time, is the fundamental currency of high performance. The number of hours in a day is fixed, but the quality and quantity of energy available to us is not. It is our most precious resource. The more we take responsibility for the energy we bring to the world, the more empowered and productive we become. The more we blame others or external circumstances, the more negative and compromised our energy is likely to be. Without time for recovery, our lives become a blur of doing unbalanced by much opportunity for being. Realize that you can't manage time. Instead, adopt better ways to use your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual energy. Talent and skill may not got them to the top, but it was the focus, purpose, and resilience, that is, control of the physical and emotional energy, that kept them there. It is a very good plan every now and then to go away and have a little relaxation. Then you come back to the work, since to remain consistently at work will cause you to lose the power of judgment. The greatest geniuses sometimes accomplish more when they work less. Unlike most addictions, workaholism is often admired, encouraged, and materially well rewarded. If so, you will also need to get your head around the fact that the so-called downtime, seemingly doing little or nothing, can be much more valuable to your overall creativity and long-term productivity than staying at work. Intermittently, disengaging is what allows us to passionately re-engage. Without rest and recover, the body has no chance to rid itself of toxins, physical and mental. Body and mind are one. The reason exercise is so important is that it pumps blood and oxygen to the brain, allowing you to literally think better and put worries into perspective. You do not need to be told this if you exercise regularly. An improved heart rate and a general feeling of well-being makes you much less irritated by small things and you feel energized to refocus on your larger goals. You can develop your emotional, mental and spiritual muscles such as empathy, creativity, confidence, patience and kindness in the same way that you can build a bicep or a tricep. Emotional flexibility is the ability to handle a range of emotions, even to choose what you feel rather than having a small bag of responses that you make you rigid and defensiveness. Emotional resilience is a major factor in success, is your capacity to come back from adversity. Jobs come and go, but what is your real contribution to society? What is your purpose? You will need quiet, uninterrupted time and willingness to reflect and reorganize your life. Think of it as an investment. Spiritual energy or purpose enables you to manage your time much better because you know your priorities. 
There is no need to try to please others with your answers because you live from a basis of internal truth. Like all our muscles, self-awareness withers from disuse and deepens when we push past our resistance to more of the truth. We fall asleep to the aspects of ourselves each and every day. People who are very clear on who they are and their mission in life tend to be bursting with energy, yet they are also aware of the need for times of quiet and reflection to renew themselves. If you want to be a real leader, you must become a master of your own physical, mental, emotional and spiritual energies. The simple idea of managing your energy rather than your time seems startlingly original and may be of great significance for your success. I am fundamentally an optimist. Whether that comes from nature or nurture, I cannot say. Part of being optimistic is keeping one's head pointed towards the sun, one's feet moving forward. There were many dark moments where my faith in humanity was sorely tested, but I would not and could not give up myself up to despair. Nelson Mandela Character was the greater ingredient in success. I saw many young men who had great natural ability, but who do not have the self-discipline and patience to build on their endowment. It is said that no one truly knows a nation until one has been inside its jails. A nation should not be judged by how it treats its highest citizens, but its lowest ones. And South Africa treated its imprisoned African citizens like animals. The world does not demand that you be a lawyer, minister, doctor, farmer, scientist or merchant. It does not dictate what you shall do, but it does require you you be a master in whatever you undertake. The slow penny is surer than the quicker dollar. The slow trotter will out-travel the fleet racer. Genius darts, flutters and tires, but perseverance wears and wins. Don't wait for extraordinary opportunities. Seize common occasions and make them great. There are few things that cannot be achieved by sheer determination and effort. It book inspires the reader not to make the most money, but to pursue a career that excites, enriches intellectually, and uses talents to the full. Show me a really great triumph that is not a reward of persistence. Genius, when you look more closely at it, usually turns out to be the result of uncommon dedication to a task. There is something infinitely better than being a millionaire of money, and that is to be a millionaire of brains, of culture, of helpfulness to one's fellow, a millionaire of character. The world does not dictate what you shall do, but it does require you be a master in whatever you undertake. With definiteness of aim or knowledge that you are doing is worth your time, you will excel at the task. A job may earn you money, but a vocation earns self-respect. For the key to prospering and adopting in the coming decades amidst an ever-escalating rate of change is to first be clear and resolutely dedicated to what you stand for and who that should never change. You must then be resolutely willing to change absolutely everything else. This rare ability to manage continually and change is a secret of Marriott's past and key to its future. Hard work and continuous self-improvement and a sense of building for the future create identity. From identity comes focus. From focus, success. Success is the child of drudgery and perseverance. It cannot be coaxed or bribed. Pay the price and it is yours. If you knew who you are, you can be more flexible in what you decide to do and the clearer about what not to do. The more things change, the more they stay the same. There is basically one problem in life, congestion. There is basically one solution, circulation. Systematic giving is therefore a powerful practice that blesses every phase of our lives, as it keeps us attuned to wealth of the universe. God does not want you to be poor. Appreciate the universe's abundance and your right to prosperity. Prosperity was first and foremost a state of mind. A mindset of lack could only manifest negative results. Desire plus visualization and affirmation equals success. Desires are healthy. The secret of turning desires into reality is to write them down. 
you must be specific about what you want and when exactly you would like to achieve it because the fuel of the imagination is detail. Fortune favours the bold. Life to seem to clear a path for those who know what they want. Nature respects purpose. Writing things down clarifies your purpose in a way that ideal thought cannot. If you don't have something that you desire, use the vacuum law of prosperity and create room for it, throwing out old goods. Make way for growth. The thoughts that you give out are coming back to you in some form. Achievement is more meaningful when you when it springs from a base of physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Sharpening the saw. Without frequent sharpening, you become blunt in productivity, sense, and lose the ability to connect with people you love and influence those you work with. Create what Richardson calls an absolute yes list. A ranking of what you feel are the most important aspects of your life. Feeling that you do not have to be hurried along by circumstances. You can regain control of your life simply by making more conscious decisions. Regular downtime is important for your sanity. At first you may feel very edgy in doing nothing, but we all need a holiday from thinking too much. Stop running on caffeine and adrenaline. Fuel the body with premium fuel and it will provide you with strength and stamina to live well. Caring for your body is essential to living a high quality life. Write a journal. Notice your dreams. Follow your intuition. Have the courage to seek your highest purpose instead of simply looking for another job. The movers and shakers of the world are often professional modelers. People who have mastered the art of learning everything they can by following other people's experience rather than their own. Often we are caught in a mental trap of seeing enormously successful people and thinking they are where they are because they have some special gift. Yet a closer look shows that the greatest gift that extraordinary successful people have over the average person is the ability to get themselves to take action. Success leaves clues, but they must be acted on. Money is what fueled the industrial society but it is the information society, the fuel, the power is knowledge. The chief skills we must learn for success are communicative. Successful people are master communicators, but they also communicate masterfully with themselves. They decide what meaning an event will have for them, and a consequence tend not to divide their life's experience into successes and failures, but look more to results. Refinement based on feedback about results is the basis of all progress, but it requires a certain open-mindedness. Robbins discussed the seven traits of successful people. Passion, belief, strategy, clarity of values, energy, bonding power, and mastery of communication. The easiest way of becoming successful is to model the behavior of an already successful person. Anything you can do, I can do. Where there is no vision, people perish. Whenever you ask for in life is most likely what you'll get. Life will pay whatever price you ask of it. Ask for great success and joy and you'll probably get it. Don't ask for anything in particular and you will get whatever life throws at you. The power of precision. Because language shapes thought and thought shapes action. The route to unlimited power is to continually to look for a different, better way to do something. It is always stick to the same technique, you'll always get the same results. Unlimited power is not yours until you develop the skill of action. One of the duties of leaders is to lift up those who are not able to advance themselves. Courage is more exhilarating than fear, and in the long run it is easier. We do not have to become heroes overnight, just to step at a time, meeting each other that comes up, seeing it is not as dreadful as it appears, discovering we have the strength to stare it down. Leadership involves openness to the new. A woman is like a tea bag. You never know how strong she is until she gets in hot water. Believe big. The size of your success is determined by the size of your belief. Think little goals and expect little achievements. Think big goals and win big success. Remember this too, big ideas and big plans are often easily, easier, certainly no more difficult than small ideas and small plans. 
Much of the difference between failure and success lies in what you believe you're entitled to. So you may as well think big. Think five times as big. The key factor in personal success was simply the desire for it. Success is not primarily a matter of circumstances or native talents or even intelligence. It is a choice. Life is too short to be little. You must enlarge your imagination on yourself, of yourself, and act on it. You must spend time alone with your thoughts. Decisions arrived at in a managed solitude have a habit of being 100% right. Action drives out thought, whereas leaders set a time for solitude to tap their supreme thinking power. The writer at some point decided to believe that he was among the best, and so he acted and performed accordingly. Most of us believe that the result of an event is the best indicator of how successful we are, yet events as much more likely to reflect our level of confidence. Belief is the thermostat that regulates what we accomplish in life. While it is said that a large vocabulary is a determinant of success, what really counts is the effect that your words have on how you think about yourself. Every big success is created one step at a time. Therefore, it is best to measure yourself against the goals you have set rather than comparing yourself to others. Don't wait until conditions are perfect before starting something. They never will be. Act now. Persistence is not a guarantee of success. Combine persistence with experimentation. Goals, once in the subconscious, provide energy and an invisible guide to correct action. Walk 25% faster. Average people have an average walk. Break free of self-imposed limitations. To recast your idea of what is possible. A person is best measured by the size of their dreams. Recognize the link between attitude and their level of happiness. A relaxed state of expectancy is the best mindset for bringing success into your life. Have no thought for the morrow. Be clear what you want and then have the faith that it will come. Your ships come in over a don't care sea. We have all observed that success has its own time frame and often comes quietly when we least expect it. Life has a way of shaping itself to our expectations, good or bad. Therefore, let your thoughts and actions express relaxed, unwavering faith. Consumption without intuition is inevitable wasteful. Asking for guidance always saves time and energy and often a lifetime of misery. Intuition seems magic because it has the power of infinite intelligence behind it. Unless intuition builds the house, they labor in vain who builds it. Do it. When you come to the fork in the road, follow the voice of intuition. Many times in your life, you, you will feel overwhelmed. This is the perfect time to practice faith over fear. Perfect faith leads to perfect outcomes. The moral, you don't have to throw away your money or close your bank account, but do not depend on money you have. The one cabinet that you should ask for, what is yours by divine right? You must avoid being overwhelmed by life and realize that there is something larger then that is willing to be shoulder the burdens. Live by faith instead of fear. The true leader brings out the best in people in even the toughest. By endurance, we conquer. Optimism is courage. Top leaders set apart by calm wisdom. It is gained through experience, obviously, but also through active knowledge gathering. But nothing opened his mind to the vastness, richest, and complexities of the world of the way his books did. Optimism is true moral courage. In trouble, danger, and disappointment, never give up hope. The worst can always be got over. People are not born with a millionaire mind. It is a set of attitudes and knowledge that anyone can adopt and acquire. Do work that you love to do. The more you love your work, the more likely you are to excel at it, and the more rewards will occur to you. Millionaires think differently from the crowd. Link between courage and wealth. 
A belief is the ability to generate wealth. Sources of wealth, generally an idea turned into business. Every little helps. Becoming wealthy involves a set of habits and ways of doing things, some of which seem minor importance of a common sense, though many of us don't do them. The primary cause of success in life is the ability to set and achieve goals. That's why the people who do not have goals are doomed forever to work for those who do. You either work to achieve your own goals or you work to achieve someone else's goals. Measuring your life daily against written goals is a fundamental of success. The ability to set and achieve them. We are shaped by our ambitions, adapting ourselves to meet the image of the imagined end state. Fewer than 3% of people have written goals and fewer than 1% regularly review them. That we aren't willing to accept full responsibility for our lives. The payoff of a goal is setting is that you achieve each goal you feel in charge of your own destiny with every moment taken up productively. Self-esteem increases and it is easy to remain motivated. You suddenly see the meaning of staying. Nothing succeeds like success. Goals must be written down. The more detail about the goal, the better, because the subconscious needs details to shape actions. You can't hit a target you can't see. There are no unrealistic goals, only unrealistic deadlines. Key ingredient for success is financial freedom. Money worries are the cause of around 80% of relationship breakdowns. How books open their eyes to what is possible. This is because the more you read about the lives of actions of successful people, the more likely it is you will set the bar higher for yourself. The ultimate warrior is one who wins the way, wins the war, forcing the enemy to surrender without fighting any battles. The successful person has the unusual skill at dealing with conflict and ensuring the best outcome for all. Emphasize knowledge as a meaning of attaining victory, and its principal weapon in is the power already existent in the natural and human world. The Tao, the guiding spirit of the universe, is why it is still relevant and valuable. 100 victories is in 100 battles is not the most skillful. Subduing the other's military without battle is the most skillful. The best way to approach conflict, as difficult as it sounds, is in a detached manner. To be invincible, you must make yourself so. Victory comes to those who have developed an ethic of constant refinement and improved, not those who worry about their competition. You cannot control the other, but by developing your own strength of character, knowledge and insight, you can build invincibility. People with great character developed over time naturally become leaders. Knowing the other and knowing oneself in 100 battles, no danger but about being aware of what works, going with the grain of the universe. As is the nature of true wisdom, it is not bound by time and place. Be the best at what you do and the world will beat a path to your door. Copy other business ideas and successfully adapt them. Competition forces refinement, welcome it. It is the natural and logical that you should become rich and the use of your creative powers. The, orig the origin of wealth is thought, rather than things. Can abundance really emerge from, a pre from apparent nothingness? Ideas come from space. This may seem astonishingly and impossible to believe, but it is true. Ideas come from out of space. Through visualization of what you desire on a repetitive basis, the thing will come into being through the organization of the existence modes of production. This is the secret shortcut to gaining what you need. Through the science of mind, we are now starting to see that we can manifest things more easily and more perfectly by first impressing the idea on formless substance. If you accept that everything comes from something immaterial, how you live and act will be different from someone who believes that the foundation of everything is matter. To think health when surrounded by the appearance of disease or to think riches when in the midst of appearance of poverty, requires power. But he who acquires his power becomes a mastermind. He who can conquer fate. He can have what he wants. 
Nature always seeks expression and increase. You want wealth so that you can pursue your interested and develop your mind. Travel, surround yourself with beauty and be in a position to give generously. For real world prosperity is that you must endeavor to provide something that buyers feel is greater in value than the price they have paid for it. Cultivate gratefulness. If you want to become rich, you must not make a study of poverty. What is a person is not a bundle of aspirations. Desire is the engine that drives the world, and without ever increasing wealth, there would be a miserable gap between what is wanted and what can be afforded. The nature of life is growth and increase, so it would be contradicting nature to restrict the urge to plenty. Never underestimate how far you can go by merely being yourself. Arrogance is a killer, and a wearing ambition on one's sleeve can have the same effect. Self-confident people aren't afraid to have their views challenged. They relish the intellectual combat that enriches ideas. Consider changing the way of learning and relating to others, and reap the performance benefits. You can never really teach a person something, they must learn it for themselves. The GROW sequence involves goals, reality checking, options, and will. Successful people are lucky people, but luck is less related to chance than you may think. Create, notice, and act upon the chance of opportunities in their life. Lucky people make a point of going out frequently and meeting new people, which increases their chances of having positive encounters. Each one could be life-changing or simply provide good work leads. 90% of success in life is just showing up. Another reason that lucky people are easier is that they have a more relaxed attitude to life. Lucky people see what is there, rather than trying to find out what they want to see. They realize that their openness to new experience takes them out of the mental ruts. If you only ever see and do the same things, you will only ever get a, a certain amount of opportunities coming your way. Why they made the right decisions. He discovered that they had a better relationship with the unconscious mind. They trust their intuition. Intuition is created from millions of cures in our cues in our environment that our mind and body take in. Unlucky people get the same cues, but do not trust them. Expect the best and get it. People who consider themselves lucky tend to get what they want from life as a part of self-fulfilling prophecy. You can have everything in life if you just help another enough people get what they want. Strong values of hard work, spiritual faith, and service will take you a long way. Peace of mind that comes with a slid faith and religious commitment. Zig Ziglar's recipe for life at the top involves the three dimensions, the physical, the mental, and the spiritual. You are the sum and total of your habits and influences, he says. So if you ignore one area, you'll be a phony. The more you contribute and give your efforts, the more you can expect to get back in monetary return. Appreciate the multi-million dollar value of a healthy body and out in the work in service. Service creates a healthy image, which is not the same as an inflated ego. You are born to win, but the most commit your goals to paper to give them force. People do not wander around and find themselves on Mount Everest. If you are not planning to get anywhere in particular, you will not get anywhere in particular. Have plans that stir your soul and be specific about them, but work towards them gradually as confidence is the handyman of success. You are what you take in. Put clean, good, clean, powerful and positive information into your mind and chances for success in all areas of life are greatly enhanced. Personal development is a daily thing. To keep life fresh, you must avoid hardening of the attitudes. Desire and persistence mark you out from the rest. In changing bad habits, don't pay the price. You enjoy the benefits. While good habits are hard to acquire, they become easy to live with. In contrast, bad habits come slowly and easy, but are hard to live with. You acquire your habits by choices. Choose good habits and make them you. Choose bad habits and they break you. The price of success is much lower than the price of failure. That is it. Thanks for watching episode 47 from Best Book Bits. Tom Butler Bowden, 50 Success Classics, Winning Wisdom for Work and Life. Follow us on social, search us on Facebook, Instagram, hashtag Best Book Bits, Twitter, at Best Book Bits. If you like the video, purchase the book using the Amazon link. 
in the description. Subscribe to the channel, give me feedback on what you think, and if there is a book review you want me to do a summary on, let us know. Thanks for watching, have a great day.